What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp extension tutorial for you. So in today's video, we're gonna check out an extension that actually allows you to custom create textures inside of SketchUp. So you can actually use the generator to create those textures and import them into your models really quickly. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So Architectures is a free extension for SketchUp that you can download from the SketchUp extension warehouse. I will link to this in the notes down below. So in addition, they also have a website where it talks through um, what the extension does a little bit more. But basically what this is, is it's a texture generator for SketchUp that allows you to generate custom textures. And so this extension is free for the material creation. Now I will note that there's also a pro version. So um, if we look at the pro account, the, the pro version allows you to download higher resolution textures as well as bump maps, pattern hatches, other things like that, um, as well as a license for commercial use. So it's not licensed for commercial use as a part of the free version. It's more of a hobby use type thing. Um, but so there are two different options there and uh, we'll kind of walk through what this looks like. But when you install this in SketchUp, what it's gonna do is it's gonna give you a little button right here that you can click in order to pop up the dialog box. And so once you're inside of the dialog box, what that's gonna do is that's gonna allow you to create textures um, using any of these options. So you can see how there's options for different kinds of stone, there's different kinds of wood, other things like that in here. So let's start off and let's just go with something simple like this Douglas fir staggered. So you can see how right now you could just click on the import button and what that'll do is that'll bring this texture into your SketchUp model. So you can see how it shows up right here. You can apply it to a surface just like this. Um, or the other thing you can do is you can also edit that texture. So what you can do is you can come in here and you can adjust like the pattern that's in here. So if it's a stack pattern, which you're probably not gonna want with a wood floor. Um, so there's other things in here too. You could do like a herringbone floor, um, a stretcher pattern, all those different things. So you can select any of those in here. It does get a little bit weird when you go into like the cubic and that kind of thing, but it actually still looks kind of cool. Um, you can also create like a basket weave. So there's a bunch of different options in here. But then once you're done with that, what you can do is you can adjust the number of rows and columns that are shown in here. So for example, right now we have six rows. If I was to adjust this up, so we had 10 rows, you can see how this is gonna be a longer, narrower material. So if I bring this back down and give it more columns, so something like this, you can see how this is going to be wider. You can also adjust the width and height in here as well. So I could bring this down to something like, let's call it three inches by 30 in order to adjust the size here too. You can also, adjust the materials that are in here. So for example, there's a bunch of different wood materials that you could bring in here, the ash, the stained timber, other things like that. So if you wanted this to be a different kind of wood, you can adjust that just by clicking on these different options. So it really gives you a bunch of different functions for things you can adjust um, for your flooring material. You can also adjust things like the contrast and other things like that. So this really gives you control over the way this is going to look. I think I'm gonna drop this in as an oak floor for right now. Um, you can also give it a little bit of a tint if you wanna give it a tint. And you can also set how straight the edges are gonna be between the different objects. So once you've got all that in here and there are a number of other options in here for like joints and things like that, you can just click on the button for import in order to import this directly into SketchUp. And so when that when you import this, what's gonna happen is they're gonna show up in your end model section of SketchUp over here. Then you can click in order to apply that to a face. And so one of the cool things about this is once you've applied this to the face, if it's a material that you created in architectures, and I'm just gonna drop this back to this original page right here. If you decide that you wanna edit this, you can right click and you can click on the button for edit with architectures. What that's gonna do is that's just gonna pop up the architectures page and then you can make adjustments. So for example, say I wanted a different kind of floor, I could just adjust it just like this and then click on the button for update in order to update that material. So it's a really fast way to create those materials and change them without even having to mess with any of the stuff in the edit tab or anything like that. So you can adjust the units by clicking on the little gear right here. If you want this to go into millimeters instead of inches, that's definitely gonna be an option. Um, you can also turn on and off the image border. And if you want more of the tile texture in your settings as well. So I do wanna note in here, because we did talk a little bit about the pro version, that the bump map 
and the hatch are going to be pro features. So you can set this up to download bump maps if you want to bring that into a rendering program, or you can use this to create different hatches as well. So those are both going to be pro features inside of architectures. And so if you do decide to go with a pro account, you can also adjust the resolution so you can bring in a higher resolution image, um, and you can set it to bring in a bump map or the hatch as well. And you can also adjust the license. So the pro account I think is like $5.99 a month. So this actually seems like a really cool tool if you do a lot of custom material type stuff. So that's where I'm gonna end this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Do you like this extension? I just love having that conversation with you guys. Um, big thanks to my Patreon supporters for voting on this video. If you do want to support the show and vote on the extension I cover every week, make sure to check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it. And I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.